Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Havoc. Today I'm going to show you how to install both Docker and Portainer on an Ubuntu server. Right here I have an Ubuntu server spun up. It is my test server. I call it Banner. All of my home lab stuff has a Marvel theme to it. We have a couple ways of going at this. What we're going to do is you need to get to the console of that virtual machine or server. And here in Proxmox, you can click on console. And then you can see we can log in there. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up Solar Putty, you know, whatever terminal product you're using. And we're already logged in. And what you're going to need to do is make sure the server is all up to date and everything. You know, run your sudo apt updates, upgrades, etc. To get Docker installed, we need to set up Docker's repository. And what we need to do is this long command here. And you can either read this here on the screen. I will go ahead and put it in the description below. It is also available. I'm pulling this directly from Docker's website, but we're going to go ahead and paste all that in and run it. And it's going to start downloading Docker and getting it installed. However long it takes, just really kind of depends on your internet access there. So now that we have the repository all set up, now it's time to actually install and run the latest version of Docker. And once again, we're going to get this from the Docker website, clear the screen here. Here's the command we're going to run. Again, I'll put it in the description below. You can also get it off Docker's website. We'll go ahead and run that. There, now that Docker is installed, we need to actually see if it's running. So let me clear the screen. And next what we'll do is we will install and run the hello world Docker container. So we'll do sudo docker run hello world. And if we did this correctly, we should not find it. And then it should pop up and say, hello world, welcome to Docker. And here we go. Hello from Docker. This message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. So excellent. We have officially installed Docker on our Ubuntu server. Next up, let's go ahead and install Portainer so we can start doing all of our Docker stuff via a GUI and not have to do everything via command line. To get Portainer installed, we had to run some commands. I'm going to get all these off of the Portainer website and their documentation. The first thing we need to do is we need to create the volume that Portainer is going to use uh, and store its database. So it's Docker volume create Portainer underscore data. We'll run that. There we go. Created the volume. So next we need to download and install the Portainer service. It is going to be in a container and I'm getting this off the Portainer website, but you can see here Docker run dash D dash P and then we're go ahead and assigning ports. Something to note here is if you have some sort of legacy application that um, requires port 9000 up here where it says P9443 colon 9443, you can change that to uh, P9000 colon 9000. So just something to, to pay attention here. And they explain all this on the Portainer website. So we'll go ahead and run this. Can't find the image, it's going to download, it's going to install it. It'll take a little bit. And there we go. So now that it's done and installed, let's see if it's actually running. So we'll do Docker PS. And what this is going to do, it's going to show us all the Docker containers that are running right now. And as we can see here, we have the Portainer service up and running, created 17 seconds ago, been running for 17 seconds. So a quick recap, we installed Docker on a fresh install of Ubuntu, and then we installed Portainer so we can go ahead and manage all of our Docker containers in the GUI. Let's head on over to the browser and log in to Portainer. If you installed Docker and Portainer on the current system you're on, you can go to the browser and just type in localhost colon 9443 as the address. 
But if you installed it on a different server or a different box, like I have here, you're going to do the IP address and then colon 9443 in the address bar. I've done that here and you can see client sent an HTTP request to an HTTPS server. You have to put the HTTPS in front of it. So now that we have that, it's going to go here. It's going to give you a connection, not private. That's okay. Everything is local. Click on advanced and then click proceed. And here we are. We are at the login screen for Pertainer. What we're going to do here is we're going to create a username and a password. It's going to default to admin for the username, but you can change it to whatever you want. And then your password must be at least 12 characters long. You can check or uncheck this, allow collection of anonymous stats. I uncheck it. Then once you've created your account name and your password, you just click create user. For security purposes, Portainer only gives you about 10 minutes to set up your new account. So if you didn't set it up when you first installed Portainer and you go to your installation and you get this message that says new Portainer installation timed out to re-enable it, restart Portainer, we need to restart Portainer. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back into our command prompt, or our terminal, and we need to restart Portainer. The way we do that is we do sudo docker restart portainer. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell docker just to restart our portainer container. There we go. We are restarted. We'll do a docker ps. Portainer is running, been running for six seconds. Now, if we go back to our portainer installation, you can see we can now set up our account. And there we go. Now we are logged in to Portainer. And what you can do is you can click on the environment here. We'll go home and we can see here is our Docker setup within here. We can go to containers and we have two containers. We have Portainer, which is this is what we're running here. And then this one's called Sleepy Basey, but it's the hello world. Uh, container that we set up just to make sure Docker was working. You can go ahead and delete that just by clicking on the checkbox there. And then, then the top right, click remove, and we'll go ahead and remove all the volumes with it because we don't need that. And there you go. That is how you install both Docker and Portainer on your Ubuntu server. Thank you everybody for the support. I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. We're building up our tech community on our Discord head over to discord.gg slash havoc and make sure you click that tech for good little icon. That'll give you the tech role that you can see all the stuff that we're doing with home labs, etc. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep doing good.